Thousands of litres of water came gushing down the hill, turning into pools that slowed down traffic in the centres below. The pipes laid by engineers at this dam in Solai, Nakuru County, emptied it, taking away its power. Four days after one of eight dams at Nakuru's Patel farms burst, a third pump was added to speed up the discharge process, a move meant to avert yet another disaster. The water levels within the dam have gone down. Uh, and they're still going down. Uh, so we expect uh, that uh, from now henceforth it may not be uh, as threatening as it was uh, two days ago. Yet for the survivors of the Solai Dam tragedy, it was a move which came too late. Hundreds of survivors crammed into the classrooms at Solai Boys Secondary School, sharing a meal as they waited for news of loved ones missing since the dam burst. Many here struggling to come to terms with the deaths of their kin. One elderly mother grappled with the cold reality of the death of all her children, while another survived while another survivor mourned the death of two family members, her brother-in-law still missing. By Saturday, four days into the tragedy, 46 bodies had been recovered, a number reported missing, but authorities claim all have been accounted for, a position conflicting locals' assertion. <laughs> Survivors whose homes and livelihoods were wiped out, now depending on donations from well wishes. And even as locals reeled in the aftermath of a tragedy which saw an entire village swept away, authorities urged residents in nearby villages to move out of the path of the water, even as heavy rains continued to pound the area. Wilkinson Citizen Weekend.